Good morning. This is Professor S. G. Bhagwat from A. I. T. M. Bhatkar. Welcome to Data Mining and Data Warehousing Lecture Series. Today we will study about a priori algorithms. What is that? Before going to that, I am going to explain you very important things. That is uh, frequent item sets. What is frequent item sets? Let us study. Suppose T one is a transaction. It contains x, y. Okay. T two is a transaction. It contains a, x, y, and z. Okay. If you observe that x, y, or T one, T one is also transaction. T two is also transaction. No doubt, this item sets. But if you carefully observe. X and Y available in T one transaction as well as X and Y available in T two transaction. So X and Y, I call it as frequent item sets. Given elements in this given elements X and Y are frequent item sets. Another example, suppose one transaction T one, okay, it contains A, B. C and P. Okay. Second transaction T two, it contains A, C, X, Y. If you observe, no doubt both are item sets. But if you carefully observe, A is available here, here also, and C is available here, here also. A and C are called as frequent item sets. Now, in given set, how many frequent item sets are there? how to find out that things so we have few algorithms to find the frequent item sets we have one important algorithm that's a priori algorithm that wait that i am going to explain you today welcome to the class a priori algorithms now given question is this is a question uh, question is like this given transactions okay Uh, contains nine total nine transactions. First transactions they have given I one, I two, I five. Second transaction they have given I two, I four like that way. Uh, third transaction I three, I two. Fourth transaction I one, I two, I four like the total nine transactions they have given. And yeah, here we have to calculate. Uh, they have given okay. Uh, They have given the minimum support is two. Minimum support is two, and we have to uh, calculate the frequent item sets. Frequent item sets we have to calculate. Okay, wait. Frequent item sets from this. Okay, uh, this given sets I want to calculate it. Okay, by using a priori algorithms. What is that algorithm? How it works? Okay. Let us study that things. First thing, uh, very important things. In this given graph, wait. In this given transactions, how many item sets are there? I one is the yeah. How many item sets are there? I one is the, then I two is the, I three is the, oh, sorry, I four is the, I five is the, I four is the, I three is the. So how many item sets are there? That first we have to find out. That you should write it. You should write like this: I one, I two, I three, I four, I five. These item sets are there. Next question: Given transactions. Okay, wait. Given transactions. How many times these items were there? For example, I one, I one in this. Uh, how many times? Wait. I one in this given nine transactions. I I one. How many times I one is the uh, How many times I one here one I time I one okay, uh, then here I one, here I one, here I one, here I one, and here I one here one, two, three, four, five, six times, six times I one is the am I right? Okay, six times given graph I one is the yes exactly right it is six I one is the. Okay, so how many times I two is there? Okay, given graph. Okay, how many times 
i2 is the okay we will calculate it now wait i2 how many times i2 is the here one i2 is the wait here one i2 is the here one i2 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 total here one this is two this is three this is four this is five this is six seven times i2 is so given these things seven times i2 is the good next one i have to calculate it how many times i3 i i3 is the how many times i i3 is the i3 right yes how many times i3 is the we'll calculate first i3 is not there second i3 is not there third one yes i3 is there fourth one no i3 is not there here i3 is 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 there so 1 2 3 4 5 and here 6 total 6 transactions containing i3 so i3 6 i have to write i3 is uh, 6 wait i3 is 6 like this way you have to write i4 and i5 now once uh, one sets each sets okay i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 each sets okay support count when you are writing compare this support count with minimum minimum support count they have given minimum support count is 2 if it is minimum support count is more than 2 or equal to 2 then only you mention before means 1 0 and it's this thing neglect their things so here luckily we have all these things it is yes all those things above uh, 2 so same thing you have to calculate as l1 l1 is same set like c1 now next one from this i want to calculate two item set that's called c2 i1 i2 i can combinations i can do like this okay i1 i2 then i1 i3 or i1 i4 like this i1 i2 then i1 i3 then i1 i4 like this how many combinations i can make it okay you can write now like this then uh, this is called as c2 this is called as c2 okay then i1 i2 in this given transaction how many times i1 i2 is there go to the given transaction question i1 i2 hmm? how many times is there one hmm? i1 i2 together it should be the two then yeah i1 i3 no i3 i2 no i1 i3 i1 i2 3 i1 i2 two. yeah so one two three four times i1 i2 is there so what i do okay i1 i2 four times i'll write i1 i2 four times then i1 i3 next combinations i1 i3 okay how many times i1 i3 is there we will check it i1 i3 hmm? i1 is there here but i3 is not there first no second no third no uh, here also no i1 i3 is there here then i1 i3 here then i1 i3 so here i1 i3 here so total okay i1 i3 i1 i3 i1 i3 here i1 i3 and i1 i3 total four so in front of that i1 i3 i'll write four okay like this all combinations okay I have to find out there okay if you observe this very clearly this okay one is the okay just this is c2 compare with the maximum count uh, maximum support count is two below two what are there okay like one is the and here wait one is the okay yeah one is there here and uh, 0 is here, 1 is the 0. Is. Neglect this and write the constructed table of L2. Hmm? Constructed table of L2. Here, I1, I2, I2, I1, I3, I1, I5. Okay, we have completed that things. Now, okay. Now, by this, 3. Okay, 3 item sets you can generate. Okay. What are the 3 item sets? Okay. From this, I1, I1, I2, 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 I3. So, it is I1, i2 and i3 like this way okay then i1 i2 from i1 i2 i can go to i2 i5 so it is i1 i2 i5 like this three combinations please make it 
okay when i make it three combination this is like this then occurrences of this okay if you object this okay i1 i2 i3 how many times is there i1 i2 i3 i1 i2 i3 here it is there one time here it is there one so i1 i2 two times yes i1 i2 i3 two times i1 i2 i5 how many times in transaction i1 i2 i5 one time and i1 i2 i5 here i1 i2 i5 yeah so two times okay where i1 i2 i4 where i1 i2 i4 only one time so write it one time okay now observe this please observe this carefully don't come to the conclusion this these three all three are frequent item sets this is uh, yeah this is one which is uh, lesser than two again minimum support should be two so these two okay this i will cut it and these two i consider as minimum uh, 